everyone! It's Mayhunter! It's day yeah. we're playing through Kingdom Hearts! You know, 1.5 plus 2.5! There's a problem. Trophy. There's a problem when he doesn't even give me a countdown. He doesn't even give me the one, two, <laughs> turtle with the gun. He just starts it. Guys, I, I'm concerned for his mental health a little bit. This is only part two, everyone. <laughs> so yeah, last uh, last night, that, that oh, happened. It's a little janky. It's a little janky that... on your end, too. It's just a little janky on the capture card. The game looks fine. Yeah, it looks fine. Are you? If you're asking for FPS related okay, stuff, good point. Um, well, <laughs> it's not you're... awful. It's like I feel like it's maybe running about, not running. It feels like it's recording maybe around 25 FPS, which is kind of weird. But okay, maybe now it's you okay asked... again. But I don't know. Interesting. But yeah, just uh, so guys, uh, I I'm hoping you you're glad. Um, the, the disconnection happened last night. That was really funny. I just want everybody to know the last thing I heard him say was, I did it! From beating Riku. And then literally immediately after that, he he disappeared. And I don't yeah, mean my like... My connection died. Although, no, that's not even true. I brought this up to you off camera, but my connection didn't die. I had no internet connection, which means there was a problem on their end. Yeah, exactly. Also, here's a cute little cutscene. Yeah. Kind of. Sort of. But it starts cute. Yeah, exactly. So, so I just noticed Disney Castle there is in the background. So, do, do, you know, do, do Sora and Kyrie like each other, like real talk? Um, turtle to gun. No, I need to know! I think canonically they're supposed to, but you see so little of them together, it's hard to say. I don't know, it's really hard to say, especially because Sora nearly broke down when he saw Riku. Huh? You know. Good <laughs> and don't even get me started with the shipping from Dream Drop Distance. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not real shipping, it's just like, they seem to really care about each other way more than they reasonably should. Riku and Sora? Yes. Hey, at least they're really good friends. Yeah, I know that's the excuse, it's just... <laughs> It might go just a little overboard. So, okay, I could be wrong, but this guy, this character, he come, he's really important later on in the story, um, which that that's not what I'm maybe wrong about. What I may be wrong about is, I think the final mix version might be the only version that reveals directly who this is. I can't remember. There's a cutscene where that that reveals who this person is in the clip. There is, but it's in Dream Drop Distance, which is way, way in the future. So uh, what the? So we'll get to that if we ever get to that game. I mean, I, I have we both have two point five, so it's... Uh, Dream Drop Distance is on two point eight. Two point eight. That's what I meant. Okay. Well. Maybe we'll do that once we're done with all these other games. But yeah, but but anyways, um, like I don't know. It's it's really Actually, weird. Before I forget, I need to go into my not equipment items because I got an extra potion. They took so long though to just to explain who this character was, like they they it, like out of the cloak, like they they vaguely hinted who it would like they they, they it's kind of obvious who it is when you know the story. But, but the at fact this point that they, in the game you probably wouldn't. But even Unless at the end of this game, a YouTube video or something. At the end of this game, do they not show who's him taking off the cloak? The person no. taking off the cloak. Yeah, and that's my biggest complaint with with that character. I'm not gonna say his name because you know. Um, but what he's the line of dialogue he says, it sounds like a whole bunch of random mumbo jumbo. But it, you'd be surprised how actually super important it is. Oh, it is. It's amazing just how important it is. It's, like, important to the entire series. One who knows nothing can understand nothing. Well, the, I meant more like the these worlds are connected That's part. Like... And he, that makes sense as the game progresses, and that's Maybe actually something they did really good with this. Which, yes, if you didn't it's figure two. it out, you can only click the green ones for some reason. They're Don't yellow? Why. Well, I'm probably also... colorblind, okay? Are you really? Yes. I, I, apparently I am. I, I only think that because everyone in my family always is correcting me when I bring up colors. Oh. Like, well, to me, Sora's pants look orangish, but I know they're supposed to be red. Yeah, they're, yeah, okay. 
Well, that could also be the just... that could be the brightness on your computer too. But then you should still be able to. You would see it as orangish, right? I mean, not not on your computer, on your um your TV, or is it on your computer? Is it? It looks the same. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, then. what are we gonna call this beautiful, beautiful beast? <laughs> Let's call it pain and suffering. I can't fit or, that. Then just pain. Wait a minute. Who are we kidding? This is King of Torture. There's only one name it can be, right? Darkness. Exactly. Darkness. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I'm proud of you. It's like, this still kind of fits with pain and suffering, right? It, it does, but I'm I'm so proud of you. There You've we made go. Me... We're gonna call You've it made darkness. me proud. Darkness. Even Riku would be proud of this. Even Riku would be proud of this name, at least in this game. Yeah. Oh, totally. Of course, this is only if I win the race, which I seem to win it like maybe seventy-ish percent of the time. Okay. Remember to. Uh, I'll, I'll try to help you out as best as I can. Remember, you want to take the upper path. Oh yeah, um, you, you, you want that zip line. You want to be sure, you know, this is more based on luck if you ask me. Make sure you platform on those trees correctly. Yeah, that's luck. That's why it's only 70 instead of 100. Yeah. I mean, this drop or a drop, this race is pretty easy. It's just a matter of if the trees want to cooperate. Mm -hmm. That's literally it. I like how Riku is all poised and ready to run and swords like, oh, whatever. And you get an item for beating this. I don't know what item it is, though. Oh, do you? I, th I thought it was just naming the ship. No, you get an item. I don't know what it is, though, off the top of my head. What the? What? I think I think I think it's like a potion. Uh, you could still win. It's just gonna be much harder now. Remember when I brought up in the last part about platforming? Oh, whatever. Okay, oh, yeah, you lost. Yeah, the, I've lost. The platforming in this game is really good. Did, did we bring that up yet? It it's funny too because they insisted on putting Wait, so many. I can still no win. Way. Oh my goodness! But you know there there's um two to thirteen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can race okay, them as well. Yeah, oh, it's a pretty stuff. That's actually pretty good. I think those are just things you sell, right? They don't have any other value. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's amazing I actually won that. But anyways, um, what was I going to say? Um, you know what, sure, let's do another race. I'm going to get this oh. up to 13 to 13. Oh my goodness. Is this, is this you making up for the disconnection of last night? A little bit. Even though I was there until you won? Exactly. Even th I didn't get to see you do the last strike on Riku, though. I, I just heard you say, I, I did it. And I looked back on the screen, and you were like in the middle of a swing, and then bam, it just froze right there. Okay, well, I know what I did wrong in that last race where I fell off. To it. Apparently, if you tilt the analogs, it could ollie fall off. That's uh, oh wow. Nice thing to know. You were let me guess. You were just like prepping yourself yes. for when you got off the yeah. Because I wanted to hit the ground running, you know. Okay, if this is the route that Riku takes, how did he lose to me? Seriously, he wa he walks he walks if you get too far away. That might have been it. Yeah, now it's 3 to 13. I get another pretty <laughs> stone. Yeah, keep giving me pretty stones, boy. I guess if you really want to buy stuff early on, it could be worth it. I mean, potions are really good up until you get here, so. And even after, and really. Because then you have to waste your magic. And here is not the easiest thing to get in this game, guys. You have to be. E ooh, 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 ah! Exactly. Not just for the first level cure. I don't remember if you have to beat for second level or third level. I know what you have to do for third, and it's not beating anything. It's just kind of obscurely hidden. But I don't remember the second level, though. Why are all of them always obscurely hidden in the second game? Yeah, there's is a it, lot of them that way. Is it Winnie the Pooh related? It might be. Because I know it is in freaking... I almost said Sonic Adventure 2 and Kingdom yes, Hearts it's in 2. it's Sonic Adventure 2. <laughs> Remember that level where Sonic goes and... Yeah, you're right, he's walking! Yeah, I told you, he just walks! It's weird. 
he's probably helping you a little bit by by you standing right in front of him. He's probably pushing you. No, I'm gonna keep going, everyone. You think I'm kidding? No. <laughs> thirteen. Please don't thirteen. Stop. Is this your? What if you lose one? Then I'm gonna quit because I have enough okay. to be so. And so. Okay. But you know, proud mode issues. It's funny because proud mode is not even harder than critical mode in any other game. Like, stuff still does hurt a lot. Don't get me wrong. Uh, camera! Okay. I camera. didn't use the camera, so I was just panicking for a second. Camera, no! He is just waiting to play his favorite Kingdom Hearts game on this channel. Three hundred percent it. Five to thirteen for the full four hundred. He's gonna four hundred percent it for the the full authentic experience. I never agreed to that. <laughs> he almost did though, apparently, allegedly. But then he he realized, wow, that's a terrible idea. Like you know what? Why don't you go and three hundred percent the game? And I was just like, heck no. Ah, I fell. And he won't grab onto it this time. Well, he didn't get on it this way. I'm going to spoil everybody our new Let's Play. I can't hold it in anymore. We're playing Superman 64. Uh, and Mayo's doing one. Mayo's doing it. No, you're doing he, it. He happily agreed. He was like, that I would happened. love... He was like, I would love to He's play... He's just standing there now. Superman he really is helping me. <laughs> he's just like looking, he's like, where's Sora? Sora? Where are you? Donald! Goofy! Darks, pal! Come on! By the power of darkness! Oh, my dog didn't <laughs> <laughs> Your dog didn't like it! <laughs> By the power of darkness! <laughs> it's actually really funny. <laughs> How tight, like how well timed it was. But he's a really quiet dog most of the time too, so it's even funnier. Dude, you're lucky. My dogs are never well. They're quiet, but some most of the time. But when they're not quiet, they're really not quiet. I guess I can kind of sympathize with that one. It's just like I'd say 95% of the time he's quiet, either because he's sleeping or he's lazy. But you have to five percent. You'll know he's there. You will definitely know. And that not just you. It's usually after midnight. It's like not just you, but your neighbors will know. Occasionally, yes. Your your best friend from across the street will know. No, I'd make that j joke, but uh, no, but they do know. But between him and my brother, which I'm sure most of you are aware of, likes to shout. I am upset that you didn't consider me your best friend. Why do we even have a co-op channel if we're not best friends? I quit. How many times have we quit this channel now, like, between the two of us? Um, I don't think you've quit once. Maybe once There's is, like, There's literally a, a video titled The Day Mayo Doctor Quit, okay? Oh, okay, okay. So maybe you've done it, like, once. But for me, I've done it, like, six times, maybe. Is it a joke? Or is it a joke? That's, that's what we don't know. Come on, Sora. Best thing is, I'm still gonna win. <laughs> uh, don't oh, you just love? Oh no, you lost. Uh, yeah. This is this, this is the one. Oh, Riku, stop yeah, it. He won. Okay, fine. Riku wins. Darkness. Fine. Well, I still boosted it up to half. Seven out of fourteen. At least you get to name the the part darkness. Mm-hmm. Or not part the the ship. So, yeah. That's the most important part. You get to you get to um, raft in the darkness. And I'm going to be using that gummy ship for a very long time. Although I will have to change it at some point. Does the donut ship work? No, the donut ship does not work. I'm so disappointed. It's purely a cage two thing. The mushroom over here. Uh, it was driving me crazy during all those runs. Do do what do what I did as a kid. Make make a ship with like a ton of turrets. 
and um, what, what was it? It was a ton of turrets, and um, and what, what was the other thing? Oh yeah, boosters, thrusters, just a ton of them. Oh yeah, totally. Three fish drinking water. You don't, don't have the three fish. Pay attention to what I need. The I drinking. Know I got a seagull egg, and I know I got some get, coconuts. I know you I need to get the fresh water. Did you get the 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 mushroom that's behind the rock right over there? Hmm. Behind the rock. Yeah. Or oh yeah, I got that one. Uh. Okay. Did you get the mushroom that? It's to the right right over there? Yeah, I got that one. I just got the okay. three water. Uh, the three fishes are easily... You can get those yeah, easily. The first day, yeah. I'm surprised you didn't just grab them when you were there, because that's where you start. Oh yeah, I should have just grabbed them. Oh well, one of them's out here, I think. Um, One of them, I think, yeah. But they're they're mostly all next to the, the boats. I think they're all just oh, going to be over there. There's one over there. there. You can see it by they're the all way. they're all gonna be there. Oh yeah, there's another one right next to it. What? Come on! There. Hey, you there's got another, one. There's another one. Where's the where's the third? Be one? closer, closer to the boats, closer to the boats. Oh yeah, there it is. Told you. He was right. You are know what sucks? Are we still willing to fight? No, they don't. Wait, no, they, they, they should do the 3v1. Three, three, yeah. Oh, yeah, you I think you have to talk to, to Titus, or Titus, rather. Or whatever you want to say his name is. I forget how to pronounce it. I didn't know there was a cutscene on this one. Normally I would just run straight out. Her, look at her oh, dead yeah, eye. You, you can... <laughs> What's the matter, Sora? Something on your mind? Yeah, you want to fight? <laughs> fight me! <laughs> Waka says a cutscene too, yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's supposed to be a hint to tell you to go in the cave, as you did already, but th that's what we started this with, so... Hey, bro. You could use some coaching, yeah. Wanna fight? You have to talk to Titus for the 3v1. Yeah, okay, look. Is he in the same spot as the other... Or where he was yesterday. I believe so. He's probably just looking out into the sunset. Mindlessly slashing his sword? No, he's probably just looking out in the sunset. Hmm. Oh, wait, no, he should be where Riku is. Or was. Oh. Um. Can I go for a person for something? Yep, there he is, and he's slashing. <laughs> slashing away, he's just like, ooh. Ooh. Screw you, air. What have you ever done for me? Have fun in the 3v1. How much experience did Riku even give you, if you remember? Five, I think. Didn't Not I much. say he gave you, like, five experience, too? Stronger, but odds are you're still no match for Riku. Oh, yeah? I just beat him six you times! Time. He whipped us all. Well, I guess Kyrie can always count on him. Oh, yeah! yeah say, oh, one yeah? One three against me. I'm kind of busy now. Let's do it. Let's get destroyed. Okay, so who should I target first? The, for me, the obvious option is Waka, but uh. Uh, always get the the girl first. What what's her name? Uh, selfie. Yeah. I, I think their AI got nerfed, or maybe they're just always the stun. <laughs> No, they, they've always been pretty bad. But you want to get her out of the way because her attacks are long, like, well, of course they're long range, but they're like annoyingly long range. Um, and then you want to get rid of Waka. I think you get an item for beating them too, so it's not like it's completely worthless. But now that I have three potions or well, two now, it's not nearly as big a deal. Okay, stop Take doing your That's what drives me crazy about her. Just that's why you, that's why you get her that's why you get her first, because she just keeps doing her thing. Uh oh, she's gonna do it again. No! She won't stop doing it! And Can't she barely deflect? out of range. 
Is that the movie Can't Deflect? It's the one that just doesn't stop. There, she's down. Good, okay, so that's one of the more annoying ones out of the way. Of course, oh, Waka's gonna be really. Waka's really annoying too because he keeps tossing balls at you. I might have to use another potion, but. I mean, one super hit from freaking Titus is gonna ace you. Or axe you, rather. No, that's why I want to keep him in view. You might as well just use it because you're gonna buy potions anyways, I feel like. Well, now you kinda have to. Just don't use the high potion. Yeah, that's I'm not that's, wasting that. That's basically high potions stay good for a very long time. So take oh, this. Really... Oh, how did you miss that? I don't know. I, I must have been like slightly too early. Oh, I got a level up. Awesome, a defense level up at that. Yeah, I can definitely use that right now. Especially since I can't uh, use any more potions. Come on! Goofy apparently is already in the game. Well, we did see a cutscene open, but it, it was after the call drops, but... I, I know. Also, you stunned Cetus because you hit him with the ball, which is oh, another good strategy. Know you could do that. Yeah, it's a hard thing to do, but you could do it. Now, Tidus should be miles easier because he's alone. I fought Riku 13 times and lost. This guy's nothing. He's gonna beat you now that you said that watch. Nah, you go on. There we go. I, I do believe you get an item from it, so I do think this is worth it if I'm not mistaken. A potion! Well, it's oh. not worth it. Well, you did get a lot. You did gain a level from it. That's true. Okay, what else do I need? So, I don't remember. Is yeah. there anything else? We got the fish, we got the drinking water, we got the mushrooms. The did you get the mushroom in the cave? Yes, that's the first thing Yeah, yeah. That's what you do for the cutscene, I forgot. Uh, did you get the coconuts? Yeah. Did you get the, the seagull egg? Yes, that was on top of that tree. Yeah, okay, then I think you're good. Alright, let's try talking to her. Hey, Rick, you want to race again? No. I'm going to be looking away from the screen share in a one moment, and I can describe why in one word, and you'll understand when I say it. Ice cream. Oh, well, that's two words, but I still understand. No, that's one word. Ice cream is, is ice cream two words? Yes, ice and cream. No, it should be ice cream, one word. Have I been living a lie this entire time? I need to know. I mean, it's two words, technically. Oh, oh my god, it is, it is two words. Why do I always spell it as one word? I don't know. That's a good question. Oh, that looks so good. I need to not look at ice cream pictures. What do you mean? Okay, yeah, story. The, the story isn't really that... I don't know. Is this really important for the, the story of the game? Not for the series? a lot. But I mean, like, there's a lot of cutscenes that you could say that for. It's really just a select few. You're the one that's changed, Kyrie. All right, um, ice cream time. That's two words. You know, mm -hmm. I, was a little I guess when I said one word, my my inner Danny DeVito kicked in. Oh my God! What are these zoom ins? So, uh, something's happening here, and uh, I don't know what it is. The cutscene? Yeah. So there's a plot here, and I just don't understand any of it. So basically, they're, they're just talking like, man, I wonder what it's going to be like when we, you know, get to finally leave the, the world, and or leave the, the island, and stuff like that. It, it's, it's really pointless, like, it doesn't mean anything in the long run. But it's just like, I can't want to wait to see once we set sail all the cool stuff, you know, and blah, 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 blah. It's, it's whatever. Ice cream was a mistake. Pluto. Pluto's sleeping. Also, this is the note in the game, and this is like the only King Mickey note that they ever, ever explain 
or I mean, not explained, but this is like the only King Mickey note what could this mean? that they ever tell you the contents of. I guess recoded, kind of. That's like literally the whole game. But yeah. Oh, I failed. I failed the ice cream. Oh, no. I love ice cream. Does he have to? Oh, whatever. At least he doesn't talk much. Over here. Now he's a really important character. Goofy everyone, is my... really. Who, Goofy? Nah, Jiminy. Or Jiminy. Remember, I'm not looking, so I can't see. He's a really important character, really. But he's there in every game. He might be an idiot in combat, but you gotta love him, Goofy in cutscenes. Gorge, Jiminy. Gorge, Sora. It was terrible. We were scattered. And as far as I can see, I'm the only one who made it to this castle. Like that? Gotta be like, Gorge, Sora. Oh, God, your dog's barking. He, he heard me imitating Goofy. He wasn't excited about that one. I, I won! I beat Ice Cream! Yeah, whatever. World, world Border is basically the same thing, in this case. It's a small world, oh my god. Like, in the cutscenes in this game, I feel like they make Goofy overly stupid? Uh, he's Goofy. That, that's literally his name. I know, but he seems overly, like, stupid sometimes, you know what I mean? Not really, no. Like, in Kingdom Hearts 2, he's silly, but he's not, like, he doesn't, I don't know, he acts kind of dumb in this game. Like, you know, New World Order, Order? Border? What's silly? Actually, this I don't is closer to normal Goofy. Cage 2 is it is. It is. It's just, I don't know, there's something weird that sometimes rubs me off the wrong way. Also, he never wears that, that night outfit ever again. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, no, I, he does, they do wear those outfits, they just don't really wear them, but I know they show up in Dream Drop Distance at some point, but I'm trying to think of any other point. Uh, why don't shows up. Why don't they? Is it because they're not zippery enough? Apparently the clothes that they normally wear are considered their combat clothes, and since they're always out in the field, that's why they're wearing different outfits. So then what do you call their... Okay then. But that that face on Goofy was the best part of it. You know what? The, that's the best thing in the entire game, right there. Now I'm gonna have to go fishing through for that exact frame and make that the thumbnail. It'll probably get us more views. Because, you know, It'll be great. YouTube algorithm or something favors, something favors it. And, uh, store? Fun times all around. I still didn't even know SEO was a thing. Oh, yeah, that's a thing. It, it like, the still surprised the franchise. Dinner's ready, come on down. Sora, dinner's ready, come down, Sora. Sora. And yeah, that yeah, makes you, sense of her importance. You never hear her ever again. Or see her or anything. There's no reference, fact, no yeah, nothing. No one even brings her up, not even Sora. It's weird. For for Riku and Sora and Kairi, who've been gone for so long, their parents really don't care. No one on the island talks about it. Even in Kingdom Hearts 2, when you finally get back to Destiny Island just to see Kairi's cutscenes, they there's no mention of of these missing kids. They don't they don't talk about it. They're not just like. Yes, I, I know the, the the wind sword doesn't hit the heartless. I'm just swinging away. Yeah, that it it's just like. By the way, I like this battle theme a lot, and I'm still really upset that they get rid of that battle theme after after a while in Traverse Town. 
I understand why, it's just I really like the battle theme. Where's Kyrie? I thought she was with you. The door. You know what I'm talking about, right? Like the battle theme that plays right now. Door is open, Sora. Now we can go Feels like Once we step through. Feels like that, you know? It's like the Let's just bring this up here. This is, I'm going to call this origin of Riku's mass stupidity. For the entire, like, you think Goofy is dumb. I forget, does anything explain to him, anything in the story explain why he, he acts this way at this specific part? At this exact point, no. Literally everything after they do, but not this. Like, the only thing I can think of is, well, it would kind of slightly involve spoilers, but it would involve I mean, Batty coming to Destiny Island and talking to him and having him work for them. That is the only thing I can think of. Especially since apparently Riku... Well, I don't know if this gets a spoiler or not, but apparently Riku is the one that called that darkness here in the first place. How? That's what I want to know. They don't explain how? I don't think they do, no. Uh, I could be wrong about that. I mean, like I keep saying, I don't know. I've never understood why it, why the the words Keyblade just appear. Maybe because he doesn't actually know what it's called until then. I don't know. Like he just knows it's a weapon. And guys, it took them like eight years just to explain why Sora is wielding the Keyblade. This game doesn't explain it. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to wait until uh, much later for that one. It, it, it vaguely explains it in this game, but it's like not, not very really well much. explained. And even well, not most of the stuff they do explain winds up being totally wrong. So. Yeah, no, it's not even that it's not explained very well. It's they literally just say they do it wrong. They say the keyblade. He chooses his, they're like the Keyblade, he chooses his master. This is not really much of a spoiler because you're going to learn this like literally in one part from now. Oh yeah. Um, but but literally the character is just like, Keyblade chooses his master, you don't get to choose the Keyblade or, or, or whatever. Um, no, that's, that's bullshit. That's not true at all. A, a completely different game states otherwise. Yeah, uh, remember when I was talking before about how there was a very strong theory about how uh, Sora might not be able to wield a Keyblade after Cage 3? Uh -huh. That's part of why. Uh, that other reason. Uh, you never got to tell me that too because you disconnected. Yeah, no but uh, you need to tell me next time we stop recording. So that, again, I, I would like to know. Though I think I know your theory. Yeah, I, I, it's not that hard to figure out if you know the general plot of the game. Yeah. But I'm just being safe in case there's that one person that is watching this that has. I'm played literally games. playing the game, which makes that theory plausible. What well, the game I'm playing right now explains that. Guys, I'm playing. Up here. I'm, I'm playing the Kingdom Hearts game, guys. 43. I just, okay, never mind. I you know, don't. More experience. That's 43 more heartless. I have to yeah, do not farm the heartless here because I think the heartless in Traverse Town they will give you more experience. There's just too many of these shadows. I know yeah, they like a quantity, but they appear a lot here. But it's you and you'd assume it's worth it, but no, it's, it's not. No, they're all one experience. I think in uh, Traverse Town, they're like at least a few experience. Not only that, but you also get new Heartless as a whole. And this makes even less sense than what happened with Riku. This part is just not explained. I don't know what's going on. They never explain this in any game. Or any any of the reports or anything. Just No, I don't even think Nomura's ever explained in an interview. I think it's... Uh, can I just like make a, 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 it's some, a, a wrong assumption, probably, but... Like, if I had to guess, maybe it's, like, because the world is, the, the heart of the world is being eaten right now. That's maybe possible. it has something, maybe, maybe it's, like, a, an illusion or something? Like, maybe that wasn't actually Kyrie. It's probably not the case, but I wouldn't rule it out. I mean, it'd probably make more sense than whatever Namora would insist on if he ever would insist on anything. Oh, he would. Like... 
I'm sure it all makes total sense to him, but it makes no sense to anyone else. I don't think Nomura even cares. I think he just says things. I think he's just like, yeah, I don't care what I say. Kids will, the kids will eat this up. <laughs> They're just like, Nomura, what does this mean? It doesn't mean anything. But, uh, I mean, it's uh, it's all part of a very deep and complicated lore. Uh, it like means... It's for you to understand. It means, uh, darkness, darkness, darkness. Darkness, 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 darkness. We can start saying darkness a lot because now it's into fruition. Oh yeah, we are... We're just talking about our gummy ship, right? <laughs> exactly. Darkness, darkness, darkness. I really wish I had scanned. It's very crazy. You are not gonna get scanned for a while. Remember, you when he is when on the ground... Right? Yeah, when he's on the ground, remember, like on his knees, you can hit. Well, actually, no. It's when he's doing that, um, the laser attack. You just stand behind yeah. him. Well, he's only done that attack once so far. When he punches the ground here, though, you can stand on his, uh, his arm. Oh, on his you arm. Yeah, you can get on his arm and go to his head. It does more damage. Ah! I can't run up him. Analog controls don't work. Oh, he can get tech points off it. Nice. Oh, I got stun impact. I didn't think you actually got it this early. Nice. Stun impact. Um, is that the move that... It's basically is... a mini explosion. I don't remember it. You'll have to show it's me. It's Final Mix exclusive, so that might be why. It's probably why. Yeah, because I played this game so much when I was younger, so... Uh, well, you play Cage 2 a lot, and you know what limit form is. You know how sometimes when you do a regular attack, sometimes you'll do an explosion attack? It's basically that. Oh. Oh, the AoE explosion? Yeah. Oh, okay. Even though I, it was kind yeah, of I, cage too. I'm just letting everybody know, I, I don't know a lot about Kingdom Hearts 1 Final, well, specific Final Mix stuff in Kingdom Hearts 1. I played this game a lot when I was younger, the original game, because obviously we didn't have Final Mix. Um, Tennessee, uh, Japan. To be fair, people who bought Final Mix literally just bought the same game twice. Well, there's the, wait, the wait, 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 wait. Just to add the stuff that was added into the English version that wasn't in the Japanese version, but then they wound up repeating the problem again because they added more stuff. It, it's basically DLC, if you want to think about it. A DLC yeah, at DLC a full at a DLC. DLC before DLC at a full price. It's great if you didn't have the game beforehand, but... You get to fight uh, an amazing boss in the Final Mix version. It's uh, Mayo Doctor's favorite boss right next to Mysterious Figure. I, you don't understand how, like, how much I'm looking forward to watching that fight. You know, the best part is, like... I'm probably gonna die a million times just to make up for the first time I fought him. Oh, oh no, no! I'm talking about Kingdom, Kingdom, the other mysterious figure. He's done. It's called unknown in this game, in I Kingdom know, Hearts One. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, oh! I see what you mean. But the, I'm sorry. This probably doesn't make much sense to everyone, but uh, yeah. <laughs> don't I'm don't worry. Forward to the end game. That's what you need to know. The, the end game is the best part of this game. That's actually not a joke. I actually do think the end game is the best part of, of Kingdom Hearts. It's also the heaviest grind. Well, on proud mode, it is. On every mode. Nah, you can probably get away with fighting unknown immediately once you get the chance. Well, you I could go probably 100% when I go this th game, okay? Come on, you can... I believe in you. Oh, actually... I can sell those pretty stones now, right? Now? Do you believe in yourself? Yeah, I've got six of these and it's hundred each. Woohoo! We got money with a U and no E and two N's. Uh, but we could end the party. I mean, it's a 40 minute part. We could end it here if you wanted to. Uh, let's keep going. Sure, it'd why not? Kind of, it'd be kind of weird to 
have kind of all these kind of long videos and then just suddenly have Kingdom Hearts be short, especially when Here. I know the later videos are going to be really long. We should just do one world per video. I would be probably fine with that because none of the worlds are too long, except I guess maybe. That's okay for now. Yeah. With this part kind of being the exception because I was forced to stop early from part one. I know, we're, why, why, why would it do that? Why would it do that? If I had it my way, like, part one would have ended right as we was able to play a sword here in Traverse Town. So this would have been the very beginning of part two. <laughs> exactly, but, I mean, I, I was totally on board with that too, but, you know, internet. Also, guess what I, I'm doing right now in, in this game? I'm doing farming. Oh, I stun impact. I just realized that. Oh, oh. Does that make does that make your combo four hit instead of three? Uh, no, it's the ability. It's the explosion ability he was just talking about. I know, but is it like an ability or is it a combo? Because in Kingdom Hearts it's two, a it's combo a combo. Um, yeah, so it, it'll be a, a fourth attack, right? Yeah, it's, it has a random chance of activating or not, but oh, it's not definitive. It's not guaranteed. Guaranteed this is the right word. I don't know why I said definitive. This game is a good game. Actually, two. Oh no, I have them all already. Okay, never mind. This world also, when I say you know you can complete a world in one part, especially this world, this world. At first, is not very long. Mm hmm. At first, it's not very long. The revisit is. This is the only world where the revisit is uh, potentially as, like, longer. Because most of the revisits in the other worlds are actually pretty short. Which, by the way, you guys get to revisit every world. It's a theme that is in almost every Kingdom Hearts game. Uh, it's in two. Literally just two. Oh. So, no, I mean, theme, I mean, technically, theme. it's in Birth by Sleep. I mean, I guess by some definition, because you play the three stories, but exactly, that's what I mean. By so... that logic, then Chain of Memories as well. So, in drop distance. Yeah. No, oh mean, god. Drop distance, you do have one level you have to return to. You have to return to the first town. Yeah, there it goes. It finally went off. So also, I didn't get to see it. Unfortunately, I was looking away for a moment. I'm still too low of a level in this game, um, to, to for me to just autopilot. But anyways, I was gonna mention. Um, there it goes. Like, I missed it again. I see the stun though. Actually, that's really good early on. Oh yeah, that's why I was so surprised I got it so early. Like usually you get around level twenty or so. Maybe it's because you got the the staff. It, it has to be. I would normally go for sword or shield at least. I think this is the first time I ever played this game. I went for magic. Yeah, oh, oh there it is. Okay. Turn. Now, now I just saw it. That stun is really good in Kingdom yeah, Hearts too. Really actually. strong too. Um, but anyways, um, so okay, so I just want to tell everybody how this game basically works. Um, and, and by that I mean, so in this game, in, in all the Kingdom Hearts, you go through, I think every single Kingdom Hearts, I don't think there's one that doesn't do this, but you go through every single, uh, or you go through a whole bunch of Disney worlds. Um, and the thing is... I thought you could talk to the puppies, but, or the dogs, but I guess not. Nah, not yet. But anyway, so you go through the... Disney Worlds, they're basically abridged versions of the the uh, story in what's it called of the actual story of the Disney films. Sometimes that there's exceptions, but we'll get to those. Yeah, so for the most part, the the stories in the worlds themselves literally do not matter for the most part. They're the only time that it, it really will like matter in the, the grand scheme of things is if you are um if, if there's a cutscene in the middle of it that involves something to do with actual kingdom hearts and not um 
what's it called? And, and not the the whatever the Disney film is based on. It does happen, it's just not very common, especially in this game. Yeah, it happens, it, but... it's both a good thing and a bad thing, because it's a good thing because it helps you like the characters you're with more, like Goofy and Donald. Of course you're just going to like them by default, almost. Um, but for um, later, for later, or basically what I'm trying to say is it, it kind of, it kind of sucks, because the, the, the story for most of the game is pretty pointless. Like, most of it will mean nothing to you in the grand scheme of things. Basically, yeah. But you have a good, I would say, at least 70% of the game that doesn't matter. Yeah, because it's it's just character building, I guess. There's some things that are actually, like, you know, worth it, but it's just, I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. I hope, like, you get the idea. I get what you're saying, at least. Yeah. I would just like to mention too, like how I just keep missing Donald and Goofy every time I go somewhere. Also, your HP is finally exceeding your MP. I just realized that. Mm -hmm. Which but again, HP up. which again, it's really weird. Just so you guys know, because you're not supposed. Well, not you're not supposed to. But if you, if you get the sword like we usually do, you'll always have. Just two MP for a really, really long time. I think it with defense you still have two MP. I don't think it gives you one. I don't think it neuters you that bad. No, just when you pick the staff, it gives you one extra MP right away. You'll actually wind up at by the level 100. You'll actually have two MP higher than you would otherwise, which is a very big deal. It, it is, especially for one of the bosses later on. That is optional, mind you. Yeah. Um, there is all there is also a non-optional boss that requires a lot of magic. I don't know if you remember it off the top of your head. I think I know the one you're talking about, but uh, I'll just say this: there's a pot. Oh, a, that co one. a, a I don't cauldron. Think that one requires a whole lot of magic, but it still requires magic. That's the the main the main thing I'm getting at here. The main thing I'm getting at is um, that he's going to be 500%ing this game. That means he's going through it 500 times, folks. You're crazy. I'm normal. I'm sane. If I was insane, why else would I give you an amazing idea like I did? Uh, in playing one game co-op when I could have just played it by myself. Why did I agree to it? That's the real question. Now you I don't know. With zero hesitation. I was like, oh yeah, that's a great idea. Not only that, you agreed to play this game with zero hesitation. You know, I could have gone away with just birth by sleep, but no, I decided to go through the whole shipping. I didn't even make that suggestion. Sleep, I didn't even make that suggestion. That was all you. So, yeah, definitely is not my fault there. If you start going slowly insane for some reason, at least I can say, hey, it's not my fault. Did I miss the... Oh, yeah, I missed the testing trigger back in the first district. I just remembered that. Yeah, you gotta talk to, you know... Yeah, I, I missed it. Uh, which means I gotta good. run all the way back to the first district, because the way between the first and third is locked. Yeah, it doesn't. Um, for some reason, they won't let you unlock it. Well, you can unlock it at some point, but I think you need Thunder to do it, and uh, I don't have any magic yet. Thunder's really easy to get. I think you get it in Olympus. Yeah, you get it in Olympus, which is. It can potentially be one of your first worlds. But... I feel like that's going to be your first roadblock, potentially. If you Are you doing Deep, deep Jungle before? Yes, yes or no? Uh, that's a hard one to say. Like, I can very easily see myself going to Deep Jungle first, and then deciding that this is too hard and moving on to Olympus Coliseum. I can very easily see that. Boom! Olympus Coliseum, more like Olympus... <sighs> One of my favorite worlds in the entire first game, a CM. Amazing, considering it's only three rooms large. I know, but the I don't know, I, I've always loved playing the 
the tournaments. They were always a lot of fun to me. I mean, like, that's the whole appeal of the level, so... Exactly. But we'll get to that when we get to that. Which, again, could very easily be the next part, who knows? Probably not, though. Please. I feel like the level gap would be too high. Olympus Coliseum is completely optional, too, for the record, guys. I think the yes, first is. visit isn't. Is the first visit, though? I'm not sure. I know the later ones are. Yeah. What's my status? Eight. Eighteen, that's all. Okay, you know what I'm gonna go. Finish off some heartless then. What's air, 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 arrow, aga? It's just arrow, but stronger. More like arrow, stupid. You won't be saying that once we get arrow. It's true. It is a really good move. Nice finisher. I saw that. When he does the finisher, does he say, This is it! He says something, but I can't tell what it is. Because I hope, we're, we're talking too much. I hope he says, This is it! Every time. It would be nice. This is the battle in a nutshell. This is like the voice audio clips. You just hear, ha, hoo, ha, come on, let's go. This is it. Is that accurate or not? No, he just said, ha, ha, that's it. Come on. You know what he should say? Come on, step it up. He's You're too Sonic. slow. Okay, fine, he should say, come on, skip to the beat! What about that one? Why are you, why are you quiet? What else do you think? What, what, do you, what do you think that is from? Honestly, I can't remember off the top of my head. Come on, skip to the beat! Here, here, I'll give you a, a better... Um, I'll, I'll help you out, alright? Dance, water, dance! Yeah, I remembered it after I said that. I, I know. But we'll, we'll worry about that demon later. <laughs> you don't even have one. to... You don't even have to deal with it. Yeah, that's gonna be your problem. Dance, water, dance! Uh, I thought Heartless spawn here, but I guess they don't. Uh, not yet. They will spawn there later in the re in the revisit. There's some really good drops there, if I'm not mistaken. Because I know exactly what you're talking about. Okay, I, I guess we're at a heartless here then. I, mean, I guess the Gizmo Shop probably still has some, but do, do they respawn after each room in this in that game? I don't remember. I think you have to go two or three rooms. Away. Oh yeah, well there's five right here, and I need five to level up. So that's perfect. Perfecto. I'm not even gonna, it's gonna be something like AP up, isn't it? It's totally useless for me right now. Come on, skip to the beat! Alright, guess I'm gonna money. Why do they spell money so funny in this game? I don't know. Maybe they wanted to make their own currency? Oh no, it's a strength up, nice. Ooh, that's actually really good. You're gonna need that. You're gonna need defense up for the first boss here. The boss is gonna kick your fucking ass, probably. Excuse my language, but this the boss in the in proud mode here is particularly hard. Can't wait. Woo! It's gonna be a lot of fun. The music goes like this. Boom boom bam 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 bam. Hey, it's Huey, Dewey, and Louie. What are you three doing here? Uh, we don't know. Do you want to make screen? <laughs> That's exactly what I was just about to say. <laughs> let's let's talk about some potions. Yeah, you he's going to want them because you're not going to have cure. Yeah, you're not going to first... be able to come back here for several worlds. So. Yeah, and the first... um. What's it called is really bad. The, the first boss. Not only that, but yeah, you don't get to come back here. Unlike um, Kingdom Hearts 2 and basically every other future Kingdom Hearts game, they don't conveniently put a shop near you in every world. Mm -hmm. So. It's literally just that one. Yep. 
you basically have to go to Traverse Town for your everything, and that's okay once you get the teleporting thing from uh, what's it called? From Sid, yeah, but that's gonna. It's gonna be a bit. You have to beat Agrava? No, 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 not Agrava. It's before you get there. Yeah, it's uh, just before yeah. Agrava, but. Yeah, I'm sorry for the one person that thought that was a spoiler, but seriously, if you've ever played a Final Fantasy game, ever. Then you know who Sid is. Exactly. You know who your boy. You know who your boy Sid is. He's literally in every single Final Fantasy. Mm -hmm. Except I think he's actually I think he's not in the one. Or no, he's not in a few, I think, because he was introduced in two or three or something like that. There it is. That cutscene trigger. You were supposed to just walk into the, the shop, I think. But I did. Oh. Now, the real question is will you be able to beat him? Maybe. If you do, I will be so surprised. I don't know if you get anything for it except experience. I think. He gives you something. That being said, he has plot armor, so you lose anyway. No, you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, even if you win, he makes you lose. Yeah. It's Leon, everyone! Totally not Squall. Nope, nope, not. Oh, wow, he does a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you are. Wow. I'm I, I was, was gonna, gonna say. By a dodge roll. <laughs> I was gonna say, don't even waste a potion on him because it's not worth it. But he, he destroyed you. Nice going, Leon! Why did they try to call him Squall? Why do they try to call him Leon? No, really, why do they try to make it- why do they try to force it like his name is canonically Leon? There's a reason for it, but it requires a lot of backstory for both Human Hearts and for Final Fantasy, and uh, I don't really care enough to go over it, to be honest. Especially on the Final Fantasy side. It's stupid. It's dumb. It's poopy butt. Bum, 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 yeah, I know. It's really. I was hoping that they would get the some of the people to redub. Even if it wasn't the same voice actor, they could have just redubbed it. You know, they could have given us the Japanese voice in the dialogue. Has I would have. A very similar voice now as he did back then, so I don't really think it would be that big a deal. Excuse me. Did the king send you? I don't know. Sora's voice. Act Sora might be harder to replicate because yeah, like, Sora would be like, literally because he went through puberty. So and it hit him like a truck. So, uh, I did like I didn't even know that they were the same voice actors. Oh yeah. <laughs> I still. You okay? yeah, it confuses me. Not confuses me, but it still throws me through a loop. Throws me through a loop. Spin to win, Dino. So, we'll get into this later. Actually, I guess I'll ask um, your opinions like this. So, what is your opinion on this world? Like, do you like this world personally? Sound, it's fine. It's a great grind spot. I think it's a really good like opening level too, like a tutorial level. Or not tutorial, but like first world. What is going on with her armpit? I think that was just like a perspective thing. Ah, but still, that was really weird. But, um, yeah, I'm probably gonna ask you, like, what your opinion is of the world. It's just like a curious question, you know, like, do you like this world? This world's it's fine. I, mean, I don't really see any major problems with it. Well, what do you not like about it, then? I guess... It's a bit too big for an opening level, I guess, if I had to complain about anything. 
Yeah. If it came a bit later, I wouldn't mind. It's fair. That's fair. I have to say it's fair. If I don't, then you're just gonna punch me in the face. But the best part is that in Dream Drop Distance, it's also an opening level, and they make it even bigger. It's like, why'd you do that? Wait, well, I mean, at least you have the flow movement. Yeah, but that's why they did it. But that's what makes it, like, cool. Fun. I, I know, but I, I appreciate the fact they added new spots. They just, they took the problem and made it worse. I love the flow system in Dream Drop. That was, like, the best thing they added in that game. Well, it's a good thing that it's the best thing, because it's the, the big thing they added. The big thing? What about the small thing? I don't know, I mean, like, but there's plot, I guess. <laughs> Apparently plot is a small thing. Who needs plot? I'll tell you, no one. Well, if plot we ever do wind up going to Dream Drop Distance, we'll talk plenty about the plot That's then. I wonder who's going to do Dream Drop Distance. We'll decide on that once we're done with the four games on this. Or a six, I guess. So oh gosh, I forgot there's so many. Why is there why is there so many? Because Kingdom Hearts has been going on for a long time and they like making games for it, I guess. I'm gonna be really excited to see Big Hero 6, just saying. Oh, it's like they haven't even given us a screenshot or anything. It's just that one piece of concept art, but I'm still really excited though. Looks like it's locked. Oh, too bad. I have a key. Nope, nope, it's locked. What's the other thing you need to make, Mega Flare? Crawling Fire and Vision Fraga. Crawl Thank you. I said the yes, other thing. I really thing. do have that memorized, everyone. I've had to make that dumb thing so many times. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, you just have to buy Crawling Wait, Fire. Wait, so now I can open- Okay, now, now that I have Leon's permission, I can open chess. Okay. Well, he d well, more like he tells you that you can open everything. I guess. Well, he does. He says, like, or I don't know if it's him. Like, I can't leave? You just have to say you're ready, yeah. Also, different color because fire final mix. Why are they different colors? Actually, they're mix? different colors. Or no, the Heartless? Okay, I thought you were talking about the rooms, but it's like, they're always different colors. Yeah, no, the, the, the heart, the, the, yeah, the Heartless. I they're like different. they're saying Goofy isn't the one being crushed for once. Why are they, uh, different colors? Is there any specific reason? Just to reason? differentiate them a little better. They do that in all the final mixes. It's not just yeah, the same. Yeah, it, it's really, it's really weird. Oh, I don't think that, uh, Cage 2 did it quite as much. No, it did. I was looking at a heartless list while I was farming. There, there is a lot of heartless that have different colors. Like, um, I don't know off the top of my head. Actually, I just know there's like a decent amount that have just like a lot of different colors. They, they literally change the the first boss's color in this game. I don't know why. It's really weird. It throws me off. It, it looks cooler, I guess, or better. It looks uh, flashier, definitely. Although, but I like it's something that drives me crazy in Reaching the Memories, they stick with the old design. And since both games are in this collection, it's just... Yeah, I get to see the old design, and the old design that I'm used to. Get it. Gorse! Now he gets to go to Trevor's Town 3, and then he gets to fight. The boss of the world, Yay. also known as Boom Shakalaka. That's actually the name of the boss. You think I'm joking? Boom Shakalaka. See, you think I'm joking, but then I have to remind everyone that there is an elephant in Dream Drop Distance that rides a skateboard. It's not a joke. It's called the beat elephant, I think. It's yeah. A real thing. It's a real thing, guys. Oh yeah, let's not forget about the best Dream Meter in the whole game. The one they made exclusively for the PS4 version. I wouldn't know what it is, so I haven't gone through it's, it. Uh, it's a penguin that's in a jacuzzi. And that's it. Oh my god, why? It's, it's beautiful. 
Why? What is up with them and these weird ass summons? I still can't talk to the Dalmatians. Okay. I think you have to go. You have to get one of the Dalmatians first. I think is what has to happen. Yeah, well, since the game doesn't feel like telling us to do it right now, there's 99 Dalmatians in the game, and we've got to find them all. There's a trophy for it, so yes, we really do have to. They come in three, I think. Yes. Or is it more? So we don't really have to find 99. We have to find 33, which is better, but uh... <laughs> it's still not very good. <laughs> Signs of Faith. That is a cool name of the move. I tell every Heartless around here, and you hold the experience I can get. Yeah, there, there's, um, whenever you play, like, Proud Mode, or, it's like, especially when you're on Proud crit mode. Critical Proud Mode, like, whatever the game may be, you always want to just kill any Heartless that's sort of on the way. Um, I, I have no, I could think of no reason why you wouldn't want to. If you're maybe if like, oh, man, but I was like maybe if you're speed arms like even then you're gonna want to kill at least a good number of them if you're on proud. Yeah, some of the, some speedrunners, if I remember correctly, they specifically they make sure they they they, they 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 set out a route so they make sure that they get to certain levels. Like they'll kill. This even goes into Kingdom for Kingdom Hearts too. They'll they'll get kill certain heartless because they know they need the experience sometimes. Nobody wants to speedrun this game at level one. No one. Why not? Because it would take him a turn and a half. That's the best part, though. I love it when games take eternities and a half to beat. It's not I the say same. that now, but reaching the memories. Uh, I take that back. I take everything I said back, guys. So can I come here now? Yes. So, so a fun fact about this cutscene. Um, I'll tell you when it happens. It will happen in a second. Gorge are these the heartless guys? How did they even get up here? I have no idea. I would say Donald so they flew them up there, but so so fine. when they when they land on him, Donald and Goofy. Or Don Goofy land on Sora. For some reason, when I was younger, I used to pause that cutscene and unpause it over and over again just to get these funny faces. I was a weird child sometimes, guys. Okay. I was gonna do it, but they're not crushed anymore. So, uh... so now you finally have your party with you. And that means Donald your party. gets. That means Donald gets to spam spells at nothing. Nice. You are getting your ass handed to you. Thanks, Goofy! <laughs> Dead Donald, apparently. Yeah, they, they both wasted potions. Well, Donald wasted a potion, Goofy didn't. Okay. Here it is, here's I, the boss. I believe in you. Be I believe in you. I doubt. This is gonna be really rough. So guys, welcome to the first boss, something armor, I don't remember. I only know it's- Trinity armor, I think. Okay, welcome to the Trinity Armor. If that's not it, well, that's what it is now. I know it has another name when it shows up later, but for now, it's called Trinity Armor. So, everybody who's never fought this boss before, kill its feet first, because its feet will be really, really obnoxious. I feel like its feet are its anno the most annoying part about it until you get rid of it. Um, oh, hands are the most annoying part. I'm just going after the feet. The, the hands are annoying. annoying. The hands are annoying, but the feet, they'll follow you until you counter them, and that's really annoying. But beating this guy gives you dodge roll, which is really good. Let's, um, go, beat Let's go beat him. And I think he does give you, I think you get guard too. So two really good moves. But guard will be better once you get uh, counter, so. Oh, I got but, both the feet, nice. Good, awesome. And you get healed. You got hit right after this. Uh, I can't use my stun uh, impact anymore, but I can beat him all the same. Wish I could use my stun impact, but it's a ground move, and all the remaining parts of this boss are in the air. 
We beat this first time. I'm gonna be really proud of you because I, I think it took me a lot of attempts to beat this first time or to beat it on crowd mode, like personally. It's not really an easy boss, I don't think. The first boss on crowd mode, at least. Okay, I need to heal now. Just they're both stunned. Oh, now he comes up. And Donald is going to be completely useless till he gets spells, just saying. Yeah, basically. Even then, he's still not that useful. I always kept Goofy in my party whenever yeah. I had to swap Goofy's him out. actually pretty good, but Donald just... Goofy is arguably the, the... Good job. That's actually really good. Oh, look, Donald got revived. <laughs> Yeah, you, you beat Trinity Arm. That's actually really surprising. I'm proud of you, man. So I, I had a hard time fighting Trinity Armor uh, when I first uh, played through Proud Mode. Of course, he wasn't really that much of an issue um, when I played through the uh, normal, or when I just played through the normal games. I, I, I played the intro a lot, and I don't know why. I think I just kept restarting the game a lot, and I never really finished it, and then I just go back and restart it. Possible. So basically now you get to learn a few things. You're gonna learn, uh, you get the, the Trinity moves, which are pointless and I'm glad they got rid of them. Basically, yeah. Fun fact, my TV used to be really bright, like my old TV that I played on a lot. So I couldn't see the white Trinity signs very well in some areas, or the yellow ones, because my TV was just too bright. So it's just like a little silly fun fact uh, about... I guess I can see that for the yellow ones. Especially since there's only four of them. And at least one of them I can think of is really easy to miss. And I think, do you... You probably need all the trinities in order to... Yep. Sounds about right. Because I'm pretty sure one of the trophies is to complete Jimmy's journal. Which means I'm going to have to get all the trinities, because that's part of the journal. Don't you just love... Trophies. Eee! Still a silly cutscene. Mm -hmm. One of the si one of the silliest in the entire game. This is Look at one of the sillier games in the series. Probably this the is the silliest, actually. Yeah, because this is the only game that doesn't care. Like it doesn't take itself seriously. Chain of Memory starts that way, but uh. Until Sora decides he wants to be an asshole. Basically, yeah. It's like the best way to put it. Sora's an asshole, guys. He's a big fat jerk. And it's only in that game. Mm -hmm. I've read the game, he's fine. It's not like he, they just made him an asshole forever and ever. It was like, no, it was just like this a one time thing. They were just like, you know what? What if, what if we made Sora a jerk? It's, a, it's not even by just like a little bit where you kind of joke about no, like he is a genuine asshole to everyone. Also, obvious Disney bosses, which you might think these guys are like really big antagonists, but in the grand scheme of things, they literally mean like jack squat. Yeah, but they're bosses of their own worlds, and that's it. Yeah, yeah, but even even Maleficent, who shows herself right here, she tries to make herself to be important. In this game, kind of tries to, but in the grand scheme of things. She's not important at all. She's just a she's evil an person. She's just an she's just an evil person. Like that's about it. Like name the last time, dude. She makes she's even worse in Kingdom Hearts too. Basically, what I'm trying to say is I don't really like Maleficent because she's a, a worthless character in the game. Also, her battle is terrible. We'll get to that eventually. There's dodge roll. Ooh, I think you get guard too. Or at least you get guard, I think, at an early level or something. I think guard you unlock from an actual level up, but I don't remember where. Oh, look at it. Oh, Jiminy, I hope you enjoy your, like, two lines in this game. I better keep track of it in my journal. <laughs> he only barely has more lines than Mickey does, and that's including that's... the letter. All right, so I guess we can end the part here because uh, there just really isn't much to do besides leaving this world. 
I'll do a little more, but just a little. Sure. Yeah. Just, you know, finish off some things, such as the Trinity, which is right here. Go bang! Money! And they're just like, the fuck? <laughs> what just happened? But we jumped and we got money. I'm more surprised that they're not just confused on why there's just Mickey faces plastered everywhere. It's like, Kings, what, Mickey, what, what did you do? Mickey? Okay, well, how did we get up here? Mickey, what did you do? <laughs> I just imagine that's like literally uh, Donald or Goofy. It's just yeah, that's like. Totally something Goofy would say. Like, what did you do? A goof, which is like. King Mickey, what did you know? The best part of Goofy is his voice. I don't care what anybody says. Oh, yeah. He's a silly man. Okay, so I guess this is where the Dalmatians come in. Oh, okay. I thought you had to uh, collect like one of them, and then you walk in, and there's the cutscene that shows, hey, we got a Dalmatian, and they're like, aww. I got another postcard from that Trinity, so let's put that in. Co postcards are important. I think you actually get a really good item for getting them all, or something like that. I don't know if you remember what you get, but I'll get I, I think I think it's a I think it's a synthesis item that you need for the ultimate weapon. Oh, you can get more stuff now. Um, what do you think? Is it worth getting some of these shields or whatnot? Mm, I would say just get the sh the the what's it called the the high potion. Potion, maybe an ether. Well, actually, yeah, you're gonna need an ether probably for Alice in Wonderland, which is gonna be next. Oh, yeah. Let's go. You know, I'll grab another ether. I so, have uh, one more high potion. Okay. You, you have 20 potions. You're like more than fine on that. For now. But you gotta keep, like, theoretically, I'm not gonna be back here for another three levels. If, and he's not gonna need um, any of these potions. Later on, once you get once he gets cured, yes, once you get cured, you're basically set. Like, you, potions are use potions once in a while. But the only the only quote unquote potion that you'll use is gonna be an elixir. Like actually, I don't base. use elixirs that often, but, but yeah, so uh, bosses. Is, yeah, exactly. So pretty much, yeah, it's yeah, kind yeah, of. Yeah, I'm in this game too. Yeah. Wahoo! I'm a chipmunk. I see you. Oh look, it's Disney that, Castle. I want to go to Disney Castle. Let me go to Disney Castle. No, the curse that, is stuck. That's actually um, Alvin in the chipmunk right there. <laughs> so you got two levels. You can either go here or you can go here. Ah, but what are they? Here. They let's... don't tell you. So, yeah, but yeah, it, it will do that in the next part though, unless you really want to extend this part. No, not that badly. <laughs> I'm actually I'm kind of tempted to go here though because the magic you get here makes the boss here a lot easier. Very true. I just do a quick little visit. Yeah, the next part. I I can see you doing that. It's fair. Okay. Well, anyway, we've stalled long enough. See y'all next part. Goodbye.